hello everyone if you are watching this video at the very end moment and very few time is left so make sure you watch this video till the end because i'll be sharing with you the uh, most repeated ones and the most important questions so whatever you can capture from this video capture and write it in an expansion uh, expanded way in your answer script okay so before uh, getting started if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this okay so let's get started the first one is the uh, structure of html okay this at no cost you have to miss the structure of html is very simple simple you have to start from doctor html then you will write html and a closing html tag then you will have a head tag here and you will have a body tag inside the head and body tag you will write title and p what you will write doctor.html and here is the closing tag of html after opening tag of html head and body inside that head you will write title inside the body you will write the p tag okay so basically you have to explain this means uh, write this uh, in the first um, page and after that explain each of these what it is like it defines the type of the document this is the root document html is the main thing inside that there will be head and the body Body tags and inside the head you will have the title inside the body you will have the p tags or the other image tags and all so whatever you can write write here okay and that's the uh, structure of html if they ask about the syntax of html you have to write in syntax two things element is there attribute is there okay so in every tag it will be having starting uh, close uh, opening tag and closing tag in between them the content will be there and the attribute is what uh, how it should look like that will be specified by style so there are many contents which you can get element is what the element like the whole thing is the element and the attributes is what is the attribute of it so in that we have to explain html syntax okay so more information about this can be found in the uh, theory videos okay and this uh, pdf can be found in the link which is given in the description box super tricks in that uh, you'll have the uh, this pdf okay and uh, the second question is what is list basically i have to explain what is list list is just it uh, provides a simple and effective way to specify the list in the document okay like whatever you want to write in the sequential order that will be specified by list there are two types of list unordered list and ordered list okay so what is unordered list and ordered list unordered list means it will have the bullet points and ordered list means it will have the numbers so how you will start a list you will start a list by either ul or ol ul means it's the bullet points and ol means it's the ordered list then the numbers will come and what is the list item you want to include you will include by li opening li tag and closing li tag okay that uh, that was about the list moving on we have the third uh, topic which is the what about css what is css css is the language which is used to make the html more beautiful and attractive okay so uh, it will have many features like changing the font style or the size and the um, means type of the font and the font family those things will be there and uh, by using that you can uh, make the html look more attractive okay and there are three types of html like how to include them in the um, html that is the inline embedded and extra external so basically you have to write what is uh, css and then we have to uh, give an example for inline embedded and external so for inline what will happen just in a single line it will be there like for example h2 style is equal to if you specify style is equal to like this font size is equal to 24 point the h2 tag which is in the description that will this thing will be applied to the description you are specifying it in the same line therefore it is called as inline what about embedded embedded means you will have the whole html document inside that you in the top you will write this uh, this part of code okay this part of code is written in the top here you have specified style style for what h1 how it should look like font size 24 points so wherever h1 is defined inside the uh, html document there it will be uh, 24 points okay then we have the last one which is external style sheet so here is the dot html file and here is the dot css file so dot css file wherever you specify that path you have to specify and you have to write that href okay and you will be writing link rl is equal to style sheet these are the three ways in which you can specify the uh, css file this is the main ingredient of the uh, answer script and uh, after that you have to write more content from your own okay moving on we have the fourth question which is the difference between client versus server side scripting with a neat diagram so if you have very less time left just listen to this what i tell you in client Client side scripting what happens is the scripting happens in the client side here execution will happen from here just the code will be sent and this is the client this is the server from the server the code will be sent and client uh, in the client side there will be scripting happening scripting means execution of the code the uh, parsing and the compilation all the processing will happen in the client side that is client side scripting server side scripting means what all the processing will happen here only as you can see this document is here all the processing will happen just the output will be sent what will be sent just the output will be sent to the client okay so the client will have only output in the case of server side scripting and in the cl uh, uh, client side scripting uh, this one uh, the person will have the code itself okay that's the main difference between client and server side scripting when uh, write uh, the advantages and disadvantages of each of these in your own words and make sure to draw this diagram this is compulsory okay the fifth question is explain the get and post uh, array in super global arrays basically first point you have to write what is super global array super global array means it is accessible to the whole code 
what is accessible to the whole code the super global array will be accessible to the whole code and there are two uh, things here like two examples of super global array get and the post get means you will be using query strings what you will use query strings okay query strings in get we will use whatever is the thing which we write here like for example this is the form here so first make a form here in that you write name and what password name and password and enter some name enter some password and submit query so what will happen whatever name you enter and whatever password you enter that will be taken into consideration and it will be after the uh, means link there will be a question mark after that your name is equal to whatever you enter here and password whatever you enter here that will be specified along with the link itself if it's getting specified along with the link itself that is called as get okay basically the main ingredient you need to this you need to know this much and if you want more information you can watch the theory video in that i have explained in detail okay and then you have the post in post what we have it will not be like uh, just in the query string but you will be passing a um form okay like http post request body in this you will be passing a form in that you will be passing a url query string that's all okay that's the only difference here you will be passing a separate form like a html page you will make inside that html page there will be some information that page you are passing but in the previous case just the link you are passing okay that's the main uh, difference between get and post then we have explained cookie and the different types of cookies and uh, code snippets for reading writing cookies there are three parts of the question what is a cookie different types of cookie and uh, what are the how to read and write the file so first you need to know what is cookie cookie is nothing but it will store the user information cookie will store what the user information that much you need to know and uh, what is the different types of cookies session cookie and persistent cookie session cookie will be valid till the uh, end of the session and persistent cookie will be valid till some particular date which is specified by the user if you have time you can go through it like uh, the writing and the reading cookie very simple to write a cookie you need three things how many things you need three things you need what are the three things name of the cookie value of the cookie and the expiry time okay name value and the expiry time so you'll take three variables expiry time name and the value those three things you'll specify you'll set the cookie in cookie will pass name value and expiry time very simple right then we have the reading of the cookie if it's set cookie username then uh, you'll be reading that cookie means you'll not read that cookie because it is not uh, set if not is set if it is not set no cookie font you will display else you will read the cookie and uh, display means echo cookie okay next question is what are the two types of caching here i have mentioned just this because i uh, assume that you are watching at the end moment so i do not want to mention more points basically i'll tell you the main ingredient you have to make the whole biryani okay so first you will be starting from caching what is caching it is storing of information caching means storing of recent information suppose that you have uh, saw the superstars photos three superstars photos you have seen and again you wanted to see an, uh, this superstars photo so again you make a google search it will be very fastly retrieved why it is very fastly retrieved because the recent searches what you made that is stored in cache cache is another memory there the recent searches what you made that will be stored so if you access that again what will happen is it will be taken from here not from the google server that is known as caching storing the information which is recently accessed two type of caching is the page output and application data what is the difference is main difference is in page output what happens is there is a page here and this page will be stored in the memory okay the whole page will be stored if there is something else change here that will be uh, the changed page will be stored separately in the memory okay but in application data what will happen is whatever the changes are happening the changes only will be stored this much only will be stored okay if a change happened here that change will be stored here so that whenever you will be refreshing the page only the changes will be accessed and that will be displayed the rest of the things will not change whereas in the page output what will happen the whole page will be discarded and this will be displayed like a new page and everything will be rewritten again that's the main difference between page output and application data okay moving on we have the last question which is the jquery selectors jQuery selector is a very important question here what we have is the jQuery selectors means there will be selectors this uh, this is the code which we'll be using remember this code and uh, close your eyes and make uh, take a screenshot of it in your brain like this dollar and um, opening and closing braces so there are many types of selectors if they ask about the basic selectors you will be using this one selectors means what selecting something there is a document here and here you want to select a p tag so you'll be using a selector how you'll be using a selector is dollar if you want to select p tag specify p here if you want to select a tag specify a here if you want to specify uh, means a select uh, g tag g is not there but still if you want to select g tag specify g here like that whatever the class you want to select whatever id you want to select that you will be specifying and based on that the selection will be made like for example here is the uh, code you can go through it okay here whatever the color is there that same color is getting selected okay and there is attribute selector select an attribute image attribute 
pseudo element selector like uh, for example if you are um, visiting a page that visited page only should be visible then you will be using a and colon visited contextual selector specific context like siblings and all and content filters if you want to, uh, if you want to just select a particular content wherever it has occurred that content will be fetched by using this selector and form selector is by using this one different elements of form so if this video helped you uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one